This is Side Effects of Living Out Loud with T.S. Madison, part du, that's two in French. Last week I talked to T.S. Madison and it was so good that we had to keep the conversation going. And you know what else we did? Every week we have Patreon only content where you got to go to my Patreon, The Amandaverse, to check it out. But she was speaking such incredible truths and just talking like don't nobody talk that I said, we got to give it to the people. We got to give it to the people. It's only right to be benevolent because we're going through so much. We deserve a gift. So here in part two is not only more content, but a gift of what we usually give only our Patreon viewers. But this week, we're giving it to you. Feels good to be in the SEAL squad, don't it? Let's get into it. It's so funky. <laughs> Oh, God, so I'm finna give you the tea. Give me the tea. Even when the Beyonce stuff came out, like that was supposed to have been a happy, happy, happy high moment for me. Mm -hmm. I was dealing with that. Isn't that what they do? They somehow manage to suck the joy out of the spaces that you have created for yourself. I was dealing with that. When I was doing, when when the movie Bros was coming out and I was doing all my press run and press stuff, I was dealing with that. And so how did you deal with it? Because, you know, that that's not... No, it's not. Easy. Like, people think like, oh, well, you out here smiling, so everything is all good. It's like, well, that's just, that's the job. That's the job. It wasn't. It was, you go to your hotel room and you you sit on your, on your sofa, you're like, well, what, how the did I let myself with as confident and strong as you are? Like, how the f did I let myself get into this? How did you? Well, maybe because I wasn't as strong as I thought I was. I can I can open say it, maybe I wasn't at that point. Like, because I've mastered all the other areas of my life: business, money. It's the personal life that I cannot. When you say you weren't as strong. What do you define strength as? Like, what did they? Well, what I was the weakness that you feel like they exploited? Um, I think the weakness was me wanting to share a space with somebody that I had that you had trust with. Trust. Now, take ourselves out of that. Is there anything weak in wanting that? Not you giving me therapy. Not my sister holding my hand giving me therapy. <laughs> but it, I mean, honestly, like say it out loud. Like I wanted companionship. I wanted companionship from a with, trusting from a, from a person that I could trust. Is there anything weak in wanting that? No, you're right about that. No, you're right. So how? I, I, I just I don't know. And, and here's the thing. But I'm gonna tell you. Tell me, sister, please. Narcissists know. They know who to exploit. They know how to do it. The con man is good at their job. You're not good at being conned. <laughs> you understand? And that's what always happens. It's like, we think, I should have known. I should have known if I'd have known. And ultimately, like, you learn through life, different experiences, different um different awareness of your triggers, et cetera, like how people can exploit them. But you can't blame yourself because ultimately you were leading with the heart with the best of intentions. You had a good heart and you were going in with a good heart. My favorite quote is from the author of The Alchemist, Paolo Coelho. He says, trust everyone, but never sell your sword. Mm. Because who want to be out here paranoid? Right. But sister, that's the thing. But you sell, never sell your sword so, never so that you can cut it when it's time to cut it. And then the lesson is learned. Narcissists attached to codependence. I think I have that. And and I, and I I think I grew to have it because of living out loud, being being visible and then you know you really you want, want protection. Yes. You want protection. You want to believe that you're not alone on an island of you because it is very lonely living out loud. It's very isolating living out loud. You are at the top of the mountain yelling and people are looking at you like, "Yes!" And then the other side of the mountain people are tr firing arrows at you. Come down. Come down. <laughs> and you tiptoeing up there, but ultimately you're by yourself up there. And you're like, maybe if I had someone else up here with me, they could be watching the arrows. 
you know, so then I wouldn't get that. They can also be, you know, holding me down while I'm waving, like hold, holding me so I can wave to everybody. And also we can just chill and look at each other and, and enjoy our time up here by ourselves. But it's not easy. And people know that. And so they know how to come in. So I don't want you to diminish your desire for something you deserve as weakness. Okay. I, I, I accept, I accept that. I, I accept that. Because I, for a while, I was like, I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. They're I'm weak. Just... Yes. You're so strong that they came to you because they needed you to make themselves feel strong. To absorb. Yes. They're vampires. Yes. Right. I got it. And, and you know, I, for a while, I was like. And God bless them. Yeah. Right? Because it's like, is. oh, it's like, you know what? That That's your punishment for, the, for you. Yeah. That sucks that for you. That you just got to go. You got to hop, hop. You'll never be, you'll never. You'll never grow, grow roots. No. But I want, I feel like there's, it, like you said something earlier just about like trust. It's like, it's very hard to trust. But what happens for a lot of us is that we, um, we form bonds really quick. And we think it's something else. We think it's connection. We think it's chemistry. We think it's love. And it really is just... They made you feel good. And so your brain said, oh, this person made us feel good. Let's be around this person more. And we have to be the conscious ones to say, that did feel good until further notice. Right. <laughs> and then the source says, hey Nobody can fake longer than three months. Mm -mm. I, I, I mean, you have to like really be disciplined and be like, I'm not going to internalize how you make me feel for three months. I will examine how you make me feel. I will acknowledge it. I'm not going to just be closed off, but I can't internalize. I can't let it get into my cells. I can't let it be cellular. That's like, that's the exercise. And I think when you're someone who lives out loud, you cannot, that's not something to be done as like a, kind of like a fun project it's like that's how you have to exist because you have so much to give and there's so much there's so many people that want yes and they will take absorb it oh but i'm in a good space so how did you get past that um baby steps did you get your way out of it did you drink your way out of it did you pray did your way out of it all of it but i didn't drink my way out of it well i, I did drink a little something okay I, okay <laughs> okay I'm, okay i mean i I shot my way out of it you shopped mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I i love it i love clothes sister so i'm much. real frugal are you oh i'm frugal fascinating as much money as i make i'm frugal listen i'm gonna tell you why because i'm I, it's trauma i have so many traumas because you've been broke you will never go broke mm -hmm. again well, you won't ever go broke again. You should know that. Though. Yes. But traumas, those traumas. So do you go to therapy? I need to. I'm, I'm willing to say I need to. What, what you, you just said you got all this money. What is stopping you? Working. No. Because <laughs> okay, if you got time to get your hair done, you but got this, time okay, to go to therapy. therapy. Like doing stuff like no, this it's not. Oh, I am not oh. a licensed therapist. Sister, but this is therapy for me because I don't really tell. Like this, like that stuff I just said I to you. feel you, but... This is not there. This is therapeutic. Okay, therapeutic. And I'm honored. I'm honored that you would feel safe enough to sh to fill this space with that. Like, I mean, because you you know you asked me in a way like you didn't you weren't you weren't pushing you just like, well girl what you know, and I just felt like that because that's what that's what was going on. That Beyonce thing was the big that was huge for me, like that was huge, like huge, and I was sad. Ain't that. A on the red carpets, all at, at TIFF, Viola, meeting Viola Davis, um, Jessica Chastain, Harry Potter. I met Harry Potter. Expecto Patrona! Expecto the Patrona. I met Harry Potter. Really? He was like, oh my God, you're so funny. <laughs> I love her more. He says, oh my God, you're so funny. Shook my hand. He got some, now he got some real small hands. He does, he does. Daniel Radcliffe. Real tiny hands. I was like, girl, why you? 
Is he one of the girls? I don't know. This, you know, I call him. I was, uh, I <laughs> no, I didn't so. know. I don't know if he's one of the like, girls. Girl. You know, I just this is just probably what the, the gay in me that he's like, girl, girl, girl. <laughs> but it's just like, I swear, your hair so little. But he's a little guy, isn't he? He's not? little. He's little. He's a little guy. Like, yeah. but he's a little. He's a little guy. But a little. I was like, little. So I was just like, okay. Then I and this, I was supposed to be so happy. Like I got the biggest comedy person. Judd Apatow. Mm. Like, Universal Pictures is like, got me at the Ritz Carlton. I'm eating steak at f- five times a day. <laughs> they credit card was on file. <laughs> I know I had the filet yesterday. I'd like but to have it the. Back down here. <laughs> you know, I'm have the New York Strips. You know, let me get that. You know, the All American. You know, yep. twice. You know, they got their card on file. Charge it to the room. You can't have all these traumas and not be in therapy. This is silly. Because you can't even enjoy to the fullest. I know you're enjoying, but you can't even enjoy to the fullest when you know you got this little monkey on your back. You know that, though. I ain't telling you you nothing. You 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 ain't telling me nothing? I don't know. But I want to know the real real reason why you won't go to therapy. Well, because I I tell myself that I don't have time. What's the real reason? Because you're telling me that, too. Well, because I don't want to go. Why? Girl, because I don't have time. For what? Girl, to sit up there and tell these people my business. That's not the truth. I don't want to be sitting there telling my business, girl. Because. I don't trust them. Uh, they have too much information. What are they going to do with it? I don't know. Make a book. They don't. Well, care. I will tell you, they legally can't. So even if they did, you can sue them, like for real. But ultimately, um, that's not like a common thing. What you think it is? Tell me what's the common reason why I don't want to go to therapy. Because you're going to have to find out that you don't want to find out. Because you think that you can't handle it. And you absolutely can. That's the reason why so many people... We had Shirley Rain sitting right up here. And she said the same thing. She was like, I haven't gone to therapy. Uh, and she said, because I just feel like it's going to open a box that I can't close. Girl, the, the box I don't open, honey. But, but you know... What, what's been a false therapy for me? Mm. It's been therapeutic. Mm-hmm. It's the reason why I live out loud. I used to just pick my phone up and talk. Mm-hmm. It's like you, you see how you sit and, and people think that you're angry. What do you think therapy is? Talking. You know what it really is? What is it? Is someone um, basically helping you understand you better. So that you're not in your own way of of joy. And like, I think a lot of us underestimate how little we know about that. Really? Yeah. How little we know about ourselves? Yeah. Like how little we know about the ways in which we're in our own way. Like, I think a lot of us don't really realize like, oh, so I'll give you, I'll speak to myself, for example. Like, I didn't realize that I had abandonment issues Mm. and I didn't realize that they were showing up. In ways that I just didn't know. What is an abandonment issue? Abandonment issue is you have a trigger that uh, is related to you feeling like you were left out in the cold by someone very important to you early on in your life. So like my father not being a proper supporter. um, I would say like my mom just not being like as emotionally um, connected as I would have liked her to be like I have a trigger of what that feels like and it feels terrible so when you have abandonment issues you do things to avoid that which is how you end up with narcissists because the feeling they give you is the exact opposite of that in the beginning oh you're gonna make me feel safe you make me feel safe you make me feel safe you're not going anywhere you're gonna hold me down got it Attached. And, and and you start serving. You start serving. This is how this person's not gonna leave. How can I be a resource to you? How can I what do you need? How can I so then you become a people pleaser and you're like, but I'm not a people pleaser. I say no all the time. It's like, yeah, but you're stretching, like you're thinking all the time about how to show them the best way for this person. Like you're thinking about their success. <laughs> Like you're thinking about like, how can they win? You think about how they can win on your time. So you start doing these things that are really attached to the fact that when you were young, you were let, you were left and you don't ever want to feel that way again. And so you're reacting in ways that at one point protected you 
but are no longer helpful to you. They're detrimental to you because it's attaching you to people that are actually going to harm you again. So that was one of these things that like, I didn't have the words for, but I was setting myself up. I was doing repeated behaviors over and over and over again because I didn't have the words for it. I didn't know that that's what, that that was attached to this. So once I was able to like learn therapy, oh, this is a thing that you have, that you experienced. I had, it was like a, it was like a Harry Potter spell that unlocked the door. Patrolist. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it changed my life. Okay. And it's allowed me to, um, and also like it allows you to be able to see clearer and that alleviates like the way that you respond to things. Like, and it doesn't mean that you don't still have these feelings. It doesn't mean that you still don't, you know, react to things, but it doesn't last as long. It doesn't maybe, it doesn't go as deep. You know what I'm saying? You're able to, like I had a, I had a moment, uh, my abandonment issues were, were triggered a couple weeks ago. So here we go. So what we, happened, girl? We t- we pouring tea now. What happened? So yeah, let me get some of this water. I um. Oh, this is some rich water, Glee. <laughs> this is. Oh, this is real fancy. Mm. So I was hiring for a position that was a really important position in the work I'm doing, and I sought out a sister that I had imp- that had impressed me years ago, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I wonder if she's still available. And so I reached, I like found a way to get to her, reached out to her, was like, hey, I have this position open. Would you be interested? And she was like, absolutely. Let's get on the phone. So we get on the Zoom, two hour call. Kiki, ha ha, hoo hoo, ha ha, yes, girl, sister, sister, all of that. Yes. I'm like, oh my God, my prayers are answered. My prayers are answered. Yes. All right. So I'm, I'm like, okay, we're going to take the next step. You know, how much do you want? Okay. Let me go do, let me go do it. Excuse me, let me go do the budget Mm -hmm. checks. Like, let me go do all the work. Every call I'm making with her is like, okay, I want to be transparent. This is the conversation that I had. This is where we at with this. How do you feel? Where's your head with this? (sighs) Man, I'm just trying to get started. I'm I'm all in. I'm committing myself to this. Let's go. So I'm just getting like, because the project that is attached to is so like important to me and it was like imperative that I get the right person and I finally and I've been frustrated so it was like oh my gosh like this is gonna alleviate that and we can finally like do what we need to do <laughs> here comes the here come the plane land the plane sus a week before she was supposed to start she sends me an email not even a phone call I see where this is going not even a phone call now, okay. all we've been doing is phone calling. That's it. That's all we've been doing. Because I want you to know that you can... Talk to me. Yes. And it's personal. Yeah, yes. got it. And at like six at night, I got an email. I'm no longer available for the position. I've decided to take a promotion at the job that I'm currently at. You wanted to whoop her. Ma'am. I done told you all my business. And us set up here on hours going... Let me tell you. Hours and hours, money long in your hours and hours. I can do this for hours. I want to give you, you just going on and on. And now you get all the way down to, to, the, to the ninth hour. And here you go. Oh, sorry. But I know you'll find the right person. Yes. And then it was brought to my attention that, oh, she was probably using you to get a raise. Like, oh. This whole time. You use me. You. But this don't worry, because I'm an alchemist. <laughs> I'm going to turn it into gold, which I have. Because what it reminded me was you were putting too much stock into her, and it was in you. Mm. And so it forced me to remember you are what you need to be the person and to have the show and to do the projects that you need. And everyone else brings in their elements, right? But you were putting too much into that she was going to help bring this to where it is. No, you no, gonna you, bring you this it. to where it is. The people that are in the mix, though, they get that, they understand that, and they also know their roles. But I triggered my abandonment issues because it was so abrupt mm-hmm. and it was so without any causation right. that made any sense that then it becomes like, well, what did I do to like, do this? What I did? What happened? Yes. What, what, well, why is she? And then you well, start thinking irrationally because that's what the abandonment issue makes you think. It makes you think irrationally. It makes you think, okay, so if she, if this happened this way, it must have been my fault. Why is it my fault? Well, it's always your fault. It's always your fault because 
you are no one would leave you if they didn't if you didn't make it happen and you made it happen because no one likes you and no one likes you because you do this thing and you do this thing because you don't know how to stop it and so if you do this thing that you don't know how to stop that makes people leave you and that means people are always gonna leave you yeah just was a circle yeah and that's how you go down the spiral yeah but therapy allowed me to hit rock bottom quickly to hit that bottom because the spiral will keep going and going and going unless you stop. And the, and the therapy allowed me to stop and say, no, this is your abandonment issue. Mm-hmm. You've seen this before. Yeah. Which I never, I'm telling you, I, this was the first time I feel like I was triggered this much and went down a spiral and actually stopped myself in the spiral. And I know that it's because the therapy allowed me to see it like there was another consciousness that was like no 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 this you no this is this is your brain doing the this so isn't right yeah there. just stop yeah so, so but i mean I, i'm gonna get some therapy but I, that situation that i was just in well not just in that situation that i was in like it, anytime i see a man that's trying to talk to me or a guy that's com- communicate with me that has any inklings well i'll tell you this there are narcissists and there is narcissism. And one of the things that makes it, we have to understand that because we, particularly black people, like narcissism is just a very big part of the way that we have survived. Yeah, I got it. The protecting it of our I, feelings. I, I no, we all have it. Yeah, and I got because it. Because when I was checking in the box for him, I was like, <gasps> wait, I do that. Wait, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do that. But you know the difference? Do you know the difference between like narcissism and a narcissist? A narcissist cannot identify their problems. They can't admit to it, so they can't change it. Narcissism means that you have certain behaviors that are narcissistic, but you have enough self-awareness that you can identify yeah. it and learn how to. Okay, got it. Because there was some So things... even you being able to see it and be like, oh, oh I do that. I was like, oh, God, okay. And like there was a few things in there that I said, let me go fix some. So what did you do to fix it? I went. I go and I apologize. Like, hey, I want to tell y'all I'm sorry for the way I said this. Right, right, right. I don't want to. I'm, yep. I'm good. Let's, I, my know, fault. It's my fault. My fault. Let's, bro, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I, it wasn't you. It was. It was, it was me. Cause it's I don't, me. It's me. Me. I'm the problem. It's yeah, me. Yeah. And okay, a few guys. I might. I just. I don't. I gotta clear my phone out. <laughs> Because I do like to talk to a lot of people. What's wrong with that? I don't want them to become supply. Mm. When I was reading, like, there was a supply. I was like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I, was, I, sw- I promise you I got on my, I promise you after when I found out, I was on my knee. So a lot of you need to go f- look up narcissism narcissism, and narcissists and fall on your knees and be like, God, please don't let me be this. Right. Yeah, because it's scary because you're like, oh, I'm them. Yeah, yeah, I don't, 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 God, don't let me do this. I don't want to absorb nobody's energy. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. But I had to, I've had to be a survivor mode majority yeah. of my life. Yeah, but you don't have to anymore. No. Well, in this, in this damn entertainment business, you got to survive. No, you don't. You can thrive. You can thrive. But yeah, you you're right. You're not surviving. You know why? You, you know, I, I get the difference because just like I said earlier, I'm not going to be throwing no bottle. So the reason why, if, if any time I say, well, where y'all reality? Why you? Because I'm not busting nobody in the head with no bottle. I'm not reaching across the table, dragging it across the floor. I'm not getting on. Because surviving is like, I'm going to do whatever. Surviving is what you did when you was on the stroll. Thriving is, all right, I ain't doing that. I have choices. I got choices. Like, <gasps> and this is no shade because I love everybody. But that, Tamika and Latasha. Ain't no way in hell I'm finna be on TV doing it with my sister. I don't give up. You know, I kind of feel, though, that that's probably the only way it was ever going to get dealt with. Like, after watching it, you're like, oh, this is, we are sister in name. We are sister in name, not in in action. Amanda. Have you watched? I've been watching. I ain't doing it. And I'm sitting here looking at her. On social media, and she's having like I can see the breakdowns of her. I could see them. Like I just, you know, what I'm saying, like I didn't want to. Which one, Tamika or, or Latasha. Latasha? 
Because, girl, she was just talking about how they in an open relationship. You seen it on the... Girl, I was like, now you know... The husband? She said that they in an open relationship. She never wanted to come... She, You know, but they, she's forced. They have to say that they in an open... She says, believe me, because I know everything that's going on. Everything. I'm like, girl, a lot of y'all out here in these open relationships. Y'all know that's not what y'all want to be. Y'all won't stop off on you. And so you just... Decide that you're okay with this, but you so you in an old relationship and you about to put a gospel album out too. I guess this you too said much. it and I was gonna, but I caught myself. I stopped myself. I but didn't. then you're you gonna put a god and I don't. I don't have no problem with the people's, but I'm just coming on. The, I see, your, but see, you're not gonna get my business like that. I'm not finna go. I, yeah, it, but you're not stealing your sister's money. No, I'm not. But I'm <laughs> also not finna get on it. They not get my business. Not my business like that. Not my business. Not my business like that. Mm -mm. I do reality TV. I'm not busting you in the head with no bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dragging the cross and I'm show not doing. I'm not finna air no business that's going on with me and my sister. So you know that happened like in real time, like it wasn't planned. Apparently, like she was just gaslit so much in that moment that she just said it and to, and it came out. Okay. All right. Well. Speaking of your business. Come on, let's do it. Let's the folks want to get up in your business. Who the that? folks got questions. Oh, they got some the questions. people got mm -hmm. questions. Honey, this is good. The people got. Yeah. Hallelujah. Your baby love me. This dog. He really Your baby done came over here and sat by me. <laughs> I got behind me. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he got behind you. He done you. got behind me, baby. What the questions Okay, here, right, they here, at, here they at. Here they are. Here they are. What do you think? Well, first of all, shout out to y'all for sending. No. Okay. First of all, thank y'all for sending in your questions from Ms. T.S. Madison. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Living out loud. What do you think? First question. What do you think your younger self would say about your journey and where you are now? Ooh, my younger self would be like, girl. Oof. <laughs> I didn't know you was built for this. Mm. I ain't know like and I and when did you know you were built for this when it started happening when it when it really when really crashed and I was like oh nah see because people talk about what they'll do and what they won't do and how they give so much advice to everybody about this and the other until they get in a the position then when you get in the position you fold maybe like a chair it's been so much <laughs> going on in my personal life or in my and even in my business life that a lot of you would not be able to take and sister you've been in it way longer than me yep. and i know i'm just now getting some of that hollywood that the fold up on me and i'm like ain't it a, ain't it something when it happen do this no i will add this <laughs> tasmanian devil I will add listen oh. listen and they don't know also and like not enough people are afraid of getting beat up <laughs> like that's really not i don't bro. i think that we need to bring that back bro, and then it's not it's, it's just like you be in the room and they'll do some you be like oh and that's the part for me that i'm always i i'm always shocked i'm like you just did that huh wow i i and 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 it always is a delayed reaction I've been ditched on a red carpet before, like started a carpet with somebody and then they saw someone else that they felt was more famous and they just was like, oh, I'm over there now. <laughs> you like, oh. Just like I told you this that. And it's like, bro, but I done been on a, something that happened and they went on a commercial break and I done been like, oh, you did this on commercial break and I'm finna come back out commercial break. Oh, baby, I like, was on the real. I was on the real. So come on now. You know I know about a commercial break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That gets said in the commercial break, and then you got to come back like, <laughs> it says our time. And you like, I will whoop you. Woohoo. <laughs> 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 Next question. Come on, let's do it. How do you maintain your voice and find your tribe in a world that always seeks to shrink black people? It's like they've been listening to the episode and they Ooh. haven't, but they have, but their hearts. Well, the way that I maintain my voice is that I stand in me being black. Regardless. And regardless. Mm -hmm. And I know that it, it seems like it's the majority of black people, but it's not all black people. And 
I understand that my voice makes things happen. Mm. So I can't get quiet. Living out loud. Mm -hmm. All right. Next question. Mm. What or who did you have to let, ooh, what or who did you have to let go on the living out loud path? Good question. Y'all has turned up. Mm. What or who? I had to let go a lot of my own ego. Tell me more. I had to let go a lot of a lot of my own ego and 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 on my path to living out loud because again, you know, sometimes you think you're always right. Right. And sometimes you think that you know what's best and yep. you got this. Yep. And you know what I'm saying? You you know you when you say this no. Uh, you, I'm gonna stand on this. Stand on it. No, sometimes you got to you got to take a step back, and you got to let go of a lot of that you that you think is right, and look at the bigger picture. Because I will tell you, uh, for an example, um, I, I had got into a hot water, and I I don't I don't think it was hot water, but I just had to understand it was bigger than me. Mm. Um, with the word, okay, it didn't affect me, and it doesn't bother me. Like if people try to use that to me as a slur. It doesn't bother me. But I came from a sex work world where I made money off of that word. Hmm. Everybody's not in that world. Okay. So I had to let my ego go and understand like why, like Madison, your voice is amplified. You got to realize that you have an amplified voice. These people are saying this is hurting them. You can't stand in your privilege being in spaces that they cannot get in there to to have their voices amplified. You got to realize that it's bigger than you. It's not about you. And sometimes that's hard for people to let go that it's not about them. Well, this is what makes you not a narcissist. Good. Thank you, God. <laughs> but I had to release that. And I had to understand, like, Madison, you got to listen to what, like, yeah. there's some people that's never going to get this. Just get to the it's space. bigger than you is real like that because that, because that opens so much understanding it's like it ain't got nothing to do with you and you have to tell and then when you have to see these people are hurting and you not hurting because you made you've monetized off of this and alchemy they haven't monetized off of this stuff they're living their life and they're trying to find other avenues because that's not the route that they want to take you took that route so you can't Say, oh, well, that's they ain't do what I did. <laughs> so I had to let a lot of my piece, yeah. pieces of me go. Mm. Lot, lots of pieces of me that I felt that was so important that really was not. Because when I let it go, I was like, I didn't lose. I got lighter. I did. So it means I can go I higher. did. And I was not, and not to say that nobody, because some people say, well, now you're influenced by, no, 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 no. It's not you're about, informed by. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, listening and understanding. Like, all right. Well, you know, people also don't realize that you can change your mind. Mm -hmm. You know that information, new information, can bring new into like new understanding. Sister, I ain't give a about that though. Until I really said, yeah, that. but that's what I'm saying. And then people would say, "Oh, you switch side," and it's mm -hmm. like, "No, I just understand with another perspective." And so here but we you are. Do you see what I said? I said it still doesn't bother me, but I understand that you can't use that because yeah. it hurts people, and yes. it don't hurt just because it don't hurt me. Me doesn't mean that this not being hurt. But that's the whole thing about like when you see black people who will say like, "Oh, well." If I'm popping, then clearly racism doesn't exist. And it's like, no, you... Kanye. But come on now. Morgan Freeman. Oh, 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 not God. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, y'all. I need to tell you about this. May 18th, Los Angeles at the Novo Downtown LA. A variety comedy game show for the culture. We never get to see a space where we're celebrating positive images. Is this the part where we got to be intelligent? Yes. Get your tickets at amandaseals.com. They trying to shut blackness down, but baby, we going to be lifting it up. Okay, now back to the show. Hey, Maddie. 
Well, look at God, because we are about to go to the Amandaverse, because we have some Patreon-only questions for the one and only, the glamorous, the great T.S. Madison. So, if you would like to hear the rest of these questions, and you know you do, because you know the wisdom is overflowing, it's coming out through the Bantu knots. Nairobi. Then you want to... (laughs) I just went to Nairobi. Um, Then you will come over to the Amandaverse. Hello, Amandaverse. We are here for you seal squatters. And it is me and T.S. Madison with this special content just for you. J-U-S-T-F-O-R-Y-O-U. All right. What do you think is the perception of you versus who you really are? Oh, I think people think, I think that there are a lot of... uh, women who think that I'm jealous of, of them. Or cisgendered women. Cisgender women. Mm. That think that I'm jealous of them or or they think that I don't because there's been a narrative spent that I don't like. I think we've talked about this before that there's been a narrative spent out there that I don't like black women and I have a a, 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 a grudge or I have a feeling, a negative feeling towards a black, black based women. Based on what? Like based on things you've said? They feel yes, like... based on things I've said, based on me talking about some experiences that I've had, you know. And I'm like what the f- like one i'm not jealous of any woman cis or trans let's let's make that clear because i what god what god has for me is yes, for me I do know that, yes, I'm that other stuff. that's one and then two i am not you cannot compete you're the carbon copy you can't compete with the original. There's no comp. I'm not trying to compete with the original. I've pulled from and I've absorbed and I've mm. reverenced and revered, but I'm not competing. I understand. And it just pisses me off that people think that oh, I don't know anatomy, biology, that I don't know these things. And I'm like, ma'am, I stand on me being trans. Right, and you and you also acknowledge that cisgendered women have have inhabited and existed in a space where they have uh, had to create their own existence and out of womanhood, right, and out of where that is, and you can respect that space and still be in your space. Yes, but they'll be. There's like, a lot you, of women. You, yeah, you just jealous. You don't. I'm like, girl, what? Where does this come from? I don't. I don't understand. I think that comes from just the tre- the reality that a lot of women still don't feel like we can own our womanhood, mm-hmm. you know. And so it's like someone's taking something from you. Yes, that you don't because even there feel was a woman. There, of. Yes, sister, I'm glad you said that because there was a woman. I did a video about the uh, about me being a, a trans woman and my 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 assist, what's name? My sister, this is my friend and my sister and all this one being a man. And they was like, well, honey, you're always going to be a man. You'll never be a woman. And I just, it just makes me so mad that you say woman in any, with even the prefix of trans when you don't, you, you can't birth a, a kid and you can't, I'm like, ma'am, these are internalized problems that you have because if my existence has you that upset, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do some soul searching on you. They really be thinking like trans women are trying to erase us. I'm like, you, how, how can you be erased? It's the same way that white people are like immigrants and brown people and black people are trying to erase us. It's like, you're physically, you're here. What do you? I asked her in the comment. I said, ma'am, did you wake up this morning? Did you fuck your husband? <laughs> did you feed your kids? Did he come in you and you are, do you think you're pregnant? I'm still I mean- here. <laughs> here i didn't have anything to do with that i didn't stop it i didn't start it you you went to the the grocery store you picked your kids up from school you did we ma'am i i i so we can all be here correct that's the point Right. Trans women can be here. And cis women can be here. And, and they were like, don't call me cis. I was just about to say, this is new. I did not know that this was a problem. Oh, girl. I had no idea. I said that somewhere very casually and people were like, don't call me cis. I'm, like, I'm a woman. W-O-M-A-N. Woman. And I was like, yeah, but you're also <laughs> cis. Right. <laughs> like, uh, cis, you're cis. Right. right. And then they're like, don't do that. To, like, and they said, don't do that to me. me. To me. And I was like, but it's a scientific. I don't. <sighs> and then you're angry because I, because, but you, but here's the thing. I'm only validating what you said. I'm a real mother. 
And I'm like, ma'am, I'm I'm acknowledging that. <laughs> and I'm also acknowledging that I'm trans. When I say I'm trans. So what what's who's if you really look at it, who's angry here? These are internal problems. Yeah. Don't project on me. There's so much conflict that comes from the feeling of not being in possession. Like even like this block fighting with this block, you know, and it's like it's not your block. It belongs to that the, white man. The municipality. In, it's, it's not yours. Cause they'll come through there and knock all y'all down. Baby. <laughs> So it, you know, it, it's real. Like, that's why I, that's why I really do try and like encourage so much. Like, that's why I really encourage therapy and the self-awareness and the self-actualization. Because when you have a strong sense of you and a strong sense of self, you're not tripping. Oh, nobody else. But I don't give a Listen, I'm not the skinniest. I'm not the fattest. I'm not the fine. I'm not the prettiest, but I'm me. And what's going to come and get, going to do for me is going to do for me. I don't give a fuck if it's you, 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 and you in this room. What's going to be directed to me is going to be mine. Yeah. That's it. You can't take nothing away from me that was all that was not mine. That right there is freedom. Once you understand that, it's very freeing. And the other thing, though, is that you can't really truly own that until you also are aware of what you're putting in. And that's the other part. Folks be feeling like somebody's taking from me. It's like, well, did you do all the work? Did you do everything? Because if you didn't, that's, that's the guilt that's tripping you. Y'all. <laughs> Because y'all can put on hair and makeup and say, there's more to being a woman than that. Okay. And I respect that. But it's also, that is also part of being a, 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 a you know, a I mean, social is, construct. I mean, the, I think there's. The social construct. Yes, yes, because yes, yes. Because you got to understand, you said that. I didn't. You said that you think that you could just put on hair, makeup, and lipstick and you're a woman. You, you minimized it to that. I know. You well, minimize. Even, just, even when I hear people say like, oh, like if you don't have a womb, it's like, mm, mm -hmm. no, that's not it either. If you can't, you can't have chips. <sighs> no, that's not. And for what? You, listen, the point is. That makes is, you a female. The that point is that there is sex and there is gender. And the sooner we can understand. They don't want to know it. I know. Because the Bible says that God made Adam and he made Eve. They also say that the Bible does not include witchcraft, and yet a woman was made from a rib. Well, what was that? Betty Crocker? Like, well, that wasn't a recipe. Say, listen, I, this is what I tell them. I Water want, to wine. I don't want none of you that sit down there to the Red Lobster, all you can eat shrimp fast after church on Sunday to tell me anything about the Levitical law. <laughs> don't tell me about Leviticus. If you skipped over Deuteronomy, don't talk to me nothing about Leviticus because Deuteronomy is the only thing that I acknowledge because the Lord took his big finger and wrote on the rocks on Mount Sinai that Moses came down with. It was 10 of them. 10 of them that all you break from number one, thou shalt not. If you ain't going down to thou shalt not, I don't want to hear shit about the Levitical law. Nothing. Especially with you down there at the Juicy Crab. Up the Juicy Crab. Whole shrimp dinners, lobster. You ain't supposed to eat none of that. Well, you know, they didn't even... Apparently, homosexuality wasn't even brought into the Bible Girl. until like 1945. And even in that, in that translation, it was an interpretation. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't... Or none of us... All of this is an interpretation. Inter I was just saying everything <laughs> is an interpretation. This is a whole other episode. It okay. is. Because you need to understand it's the same interpretation that had your ass out there with the massive whipper cracking on your back. I don't want to hear none of that. Shit. It's for me. I just well, I don't want to hear anything that uses a book that is supposed to be for elevation, for um, righteousness, for really for love. I don't want to hear anything that is misusing that for hate, for and your for own discrimination, agenda. and for agenda. For I don't want to hear agenda it. for your agenda. See, everybody takes that book and they use it in, in the context that works for them. Yes. Our country has no business. Nope. None. None. Being built off of the book. Because if you want to start with it, this country was built off of, off of malicious intent. Correct. You took people from where they was at and you came over here and stole these people that was already here. The book says 
Thou shalt not steal. Ah! Thou shalt not kill. So if you talking about something y'all built on a system of morality, don't go to no, you can't get nowhere to Leviticus until you stop at Deuteronomy. And Deuteronomy talks about the, the Ten Commandments. And the Ten Commandments says, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. And therefore, y'all done did those two things. Don't you tell me Roe versus Wade don't mean the f*** out of here. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! I don't want to hear that. Free at last. Free at last. Get your minds right. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Get you a relationship with God and leave the religion alone. Aren't you glad you came to the Amandaverse? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get this over there, YouTube. They didn't get it. I got two more for you. Okay. Even though you're... Ooh, this is a good one. Y'all better come through with oh, a Lord, question. What they finna ask the dog. Even though you're known for living out loud, what are your quiet moments like? Oh, even though I'm known for living out loud, what are my quiet moments like? My quiet moments is I want a companionship. I, 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 but even in the companion, like, is it just like we want to... I want intimacy. I want real intimacy. I want to a real person because even though you're never supposed to not... I want somebody I can tr trust. I And it's like I... I, I, I my circle is small, but I don't sleep with everybody in my circle. I don't sleep with people in my circle. I want to be able to get in to come home from my job yeah. and talk about the things that has happened to me and share this in intimate space. I want to be held. I want to hold. You know what I'm saying? I, want to, I don't want to die alone. You won't. Is there anyone from your past that you feel had the capacity to evolve? In my personal life, mm -hmm. if I can go back, no, or, like that. That if you spun the block today, that you feel like had the capacity to evolve. Yes, because I always tell everybody, spin the block. As a spin the blocker, I'm telling you, I'm the I, the, the block is spun down the hall right now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the block on lock, the cock get hot. <laughs> Come on, Erica, my dude. <laughs> yeah. I say that just because I think a lot of us are looking for trust, especially if you're in the public eye. It's like, it's very difficult to trust someone that you're meeting for the first time. And like, there's no real metric to, right. to know. And then you're like, so that means I got to like so go the, through this with you to the, find the, out. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know if I even so got the time. If I don't shit. got the time for therapy, I sure don't got the time to find out if you. Right. So, so, so you've been in this so you know what it's like. Like, girl, you can't. Girl, you got, to, you, you got to hide your bills in there. You but you're to... not going to find anybody until you go to therapy. <clears throat> oh, Question. The curse, I've been cursed. If you haven't been cursed, it's just that the reality is, is that I need to the work things, on me. that's it. Like the things that we want from someone, we have to like make space for. And there's like clutter. Alexis, Alexa, play pieces of me. Okay, last question. What's the difference between living out loud and wanting to be seen? Ah, the difference between living out loud and wanting to be seen is very simple. One you do naturally and one you got the force to do. Because when you living out loud, it just comes natural to you. Yeah. But when you want to be seen, you it's do calculated. everything. You do everything that you can to be seen, like clout chase. Yeah, that's to me what. That's that's one. You always it's the opportunism. Gotcha. How do I let? How do I get? How do I get them to look at? How do I get people to look at me? How? How do I make them look at me? Oh, you, you, you make them look at me. You, you do it. You, you make them look at me. Mm. Let me attach myself to do this. Let me start a war with you so somebody can see me. <sighs> yeah, I go through that a lot. I'm like, bro, get your own thing. <laughs> right. Bro, you 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 attaching yourself to being my enemy. Sister, man, I'm finna say this twice. That be beefing with me online with on or 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 they they try to rush to find some negative about me so they can blog about that shit and never talk about the good shit or whatever. You that's all you y'all ain't gonna be in that bubble. Okay? That's 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 for one. 
for two. You're not going to get nowhere being my enemy except being my enemy. Three, okay? The reason why I don't talk about the men that I have ever slept with, because I don't need that overshadow overshadowing my talent. Okay. Right. Right. Don't ever get it twisted. This this, this the, ain't what got me here. That's the difference between living out loud and being seen. You ain't never seen me on no place talking about I had whoop, 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 whoop. Because that's when you want to be seen. Mm -hmm. That ain't living out loud. No. Because if you was living out loud, I would know you a bad bitch and they f*** you. <laughs> living out loud is letting your spirit speak. Letting your, living out loud is letting your spirit speak for you. And I don't think enough people understand the difference between that and wanting to be seen as you yelling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because when you live out loud, you don't even have to open your mouth sometimes. Ma'am, you can walk in the room, your presence says, boom. You see how I walked on the stage on, on, on the, listen, y'all who don't know, I won Smart, Funny, and Black. She did! Yeah! yeah! In Atlanta. In Atlanta. Listen, I walked out there on that stage. It was a room full of people. There was some that knew me, some didn't. But I, they, by the end though, they, listen, they would have, was like, I love that. It was it was T S versus the brat and T S took the crown. I did the you know, crown, and I rapped. Blah, 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 blah. I just <laughs> gave. I just did. Yeah. Y'all, the brat would not rap any of her songs, so T S said, right. "Well, but that was the difference between. Yes, I, I didn't need to be seen. That's just who I am. Yeah, no, no, we all felt it. So that's it. We was up there rocking. We was having a good time. I don't know how to do anything else. And we love you for it. And I love you for, for cause you know what this girl did? This girl poured into my spirit. I haven't done it yet. She poured into my spirit and she followed up with it. She says, why you ain't down there doing stand up comedy? I said, girl, again, just like I tell you, I ain't got time for therapy. I'm like, girl, I ain't got time for me going down there to no comedy show. She says, it's naturally in you do it. And she made calls for me to, for me to link up with somebody to do it. See, it's a difference between just talking about it and being about it. She was like, I'm telling you this is what you need to do. Hold on, let me call to get you in the situation. <laughs> a lot of you is talkers and be encouraging your friend, but you don't do nothing. Not the same. Not the same. That woman said, you funny. You did this and the other. This is what you need to be doing. Hold the line, please. <laughs> Hold the line. That's how you pour into people's lives. You don't just say, you don't just give them encouraging words. Oh, sometimes that's all you can do is give them encouraging words. But but if you, oh, so you got me going here. It's kind of the same way, because you know I'm a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. It's kind of the same way I feel about when the black girls be attacking RuPaul, right? And this is not to invalidate any of the black girls' experiences on RuPaul's Drag Race. This is not. Okay. But I want to say, Mother laid her back down by bringing you to her place. She laid down her back. So it's up to you to put your feet and launch off of her back to go where you need to go. Okay, yes, we already know we still live in a world of racism. It's still white and Of black. course, it's of course. That. The fans is all that shit. You know what it is. But everybody don't get mother's back to jump off. You got it. Make it worse. Figure out how to make it work. You know it's gonna be easier for a white. It's just it's just it's just natural. Right. That's it bigger than but is. that's bigger than mother. It's bigger than mother. It's bigger it's than a, mother. It's above her. I don't like when they be in the public tearing her up. I'd be like, I'd be like, y'all stop doing that. Stop it. <sighs> stop doing her like that. Like, bro. Well, I don't like when they tear you up. They do. And I'm glad you got to come here. It's not fights, though. And clear. <laughs> mother don't say nothing. Cause mother, yeah. I, mother is she mother this, but mother get mother handles this. Yeah. <laughs> mother, mother worth sixty million dollars. I'm only worth one million. Okay, mother is worth sixty million. So mother gonna do this, and I feel her. Right. Because the moment I get to be worth sixty million, you you gonna be y'all already this. win million outside. <laughs> did y'all feel that breeze? <laughs> Bring my mink. <laughs> my fake mink, because you know I'm about Peter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't do the no. So do you eat meat? We're getting there's levels. 
We're getting there. Eventually, I will get there. I fuck a chicken up. <laughs> but I'm not going to buy a mink coat. I'm not. I ain't going to buy no mink coat either, but I fuck a chicken up. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm not I, proud of this. When I'm I when I back up from your house, I'm going to buy me a chicken, right? Well, a whole chicken. A whole chicken. Yes, I'm fat. I'm going to get a whole <laughs> chicken. Rotisserie style. Well, this episode is fat. It is robust. Okay. That's what they call me on Friday night. Robust. Robust. Hey. I really appreciate you uh, joining us and rocking with us. And thank you all for just being so incredibly invested in our conversation like you have been. Thank you for giving these incredible questions. Thank and you. thank you for doing exactly what you continue to do, which is live out loud. And, because and, and do me. Doing me. I'm you doing inspire, me. But you inspire folks. And you know what? Living out loud, I think a lot of people thought was reserved for certain people. And more and more, we're seeing folks be like, oh, no, I can do that, too, in my own version. Everybody. Maybe my version of living out loud isn't being loud. My version of living out loud is just not taking from nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their version. And we are two people that are constantly in our own skin, in our own selves, encouraging you all to do the same. Yes, we are. I love you. And sister, I love you. I love you like a fat love chocolate cake. And be, please believe after I swallow that chicken, I'm eating all some chocolate cake. And I like that you let me come on this podcast and be me and let me say what I need to say and do what I need to do. Oh, And I love you for that. I will never, girl, I'm a fan. I've always been a fan. I always have been. Always will be. And I windmill in the ground about you. <laughs> I'll be out there windmill in the ground. Let me get up off my sister. Back up. Cause, because... You are a woman that is secure in her womanhood and her being and, and knowing that I'm your sister too. Yep. And we'll gather Caitlin by that last bit of ponytail that guy. Yeah. I'll whoop her though. I don't give a because that got athlete's feet. Yes. Kitty <laughs> Rashonda. <laughs> Bye, y'all.